it seems to me, and you can't believe everything you read on the internet, so I, I want you to certainly fact check me as needed, but that you, you also have or have had some internal rules. So you can, you can use your external environment to assist, but, but I read that, and again, feel free to correct, but yep. making rules, the importance of making rules, rules like you can sit here and write or you can sit here and do nothing, but you can't sit here and do anything else. That, that was always, and still is, when I go off to write. That's my biggest rule. Could you speak to that? Yeah, because um, I would go down to my lovely little gazebo at the bottom of the garden, sit down, and I'm absolutely allowed not to do anything. I'm allowed to sit at my desk. I'm allowed to stare out at the world. I'm allowed to do anything I like. As long as it isn't anything. I'm not allowed to do a crossword, not allowed to read a book, not allowed to phone a friend, not allowed to, you know, make a clay model of something. I, I, all I'm allowed to do is absolutely nothing or write. And what I love about that is I'm giving myself permission to write or not write. But writing is actually more interesting than doing nothing after a while. You know, you sort of sit there and you've been staring out the window now for five minutes and it kind of loses its charm. <laughs> You're going, well, actually, might as well write something. And, um, and it's hard. I'm, as a writer, I'm more easily, you know, I'm distractible. Um, I have a three-year-old son. He is the epitome of cuteness and charm. He's, it's more fun playing with him than it is writing, which means if I'm going to be writing, I need to do it somewhere where I don't have a three-year-old son singing to me, asking me to read to him, demanding my attention. Um, and I think, that's a, I think it's a really just a solid rule for writers. It's like, yeah, you don't have to write. You have permission to not write. But you don't have permission to do anything else. 